What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Tom Gamer here. We're gonna play an oldie for you guys, Red Dead Redemption. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys. So today I'm gonna be playing Red Dead Redemption, an old favorite of mine. Uh, since the new one's coming out next year, uh, and I felt like playing it. Why not just play the older one? Uh, I'll start from the beginning. I already played this game multiple times to the, to the end uh, with the Undead Nightmare version. I played all of that. So I just wanted to play it again. So that's basically what we'll do. So if ready, let's just jump right in. So let's go. All right. I tried to find the PS4 version of this game to see if I could play the PS4 edition, but I couldn't find any newer, uh, I guess they didn't, I'm, I was pretty sure they did remake it on PS4, but for some reason I couldn't find it. Weird. Health benefit of smoking. A mister. Rockstar Game presents. Where criminals walk on the street without being handcuffed. Where John Marston is two cities too far. That makes sense. <laughs> Walk Rockstar San Diego. I wonder if Rockstar San Diego will make it in again. The the Red Dead Two. Where the protagonist takes a train to nowhere. Red Dead Redemption. Choo choo. So cool. Well, I, for one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. Oh, dear. My dear, my daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we helped the natives. <laughs> yes, they helped lost their land, <laughs> but they've gained access to it. Oh, God. Oh, the mentality back then. But, Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. You know, what I mean to say, Jenny. Is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. <laughs> No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes, his family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, <laughs> but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money... Isn't everything. No, it is not. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what do you 
must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. <sighs> Fucking John Marston, man spreading there on one seat. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Only ask me so you don't get the truth, the truth for somebody else. Oh, yes, Armadillo. All right, go to the station. I remember last time I played this, this uh, controls weird. You have discovered the deadly assassin outfit. It will make your dead eye regenerate twice as fat. Awesome. Awesome. We'll take it real easy, just like the Texan, like the, the old West used to do. Hello, partner. Guess that's the type of bar we're at. I just got here and people are already bothering me. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to get Oh, great. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. I didn't see no horse saddled up in front, but if you say so. so. Goddamn drunk people taking over our city, making us all look bad to the to the more rich fellers. I'm going, just don't don't hurt me there. Ah, yes. No, don't hitch. Yeehaw, let's go. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. <clears throat> so I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> God damn it, Jake. Approach Fort Mercer. Let's approach. Come on, horse. Does this thing have a bell or anything? Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Oh, God. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. Yeah. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Well, goddammit, Bill, who told you that? Bill, 
I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implores you. I, I implores you... I implores you... ...to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Oh, you want impressive? Well... Yeah, good idea, John. Yeah, I think we do need to send somebody more impressive next time. That was kind of pitiful right there. God damn it, John. You've been here five minutes. That's the uh, Mick, uh, Mick something lady. I don't remember her name there in the game. She was on the train, too. I saw her. God damn it, I lost my horse. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. McFarland, there you go. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you I don't doing? think it's Mick. It's Mac. I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting kicked with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. 
I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. <laughs> oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Top spitting inside. You. Oh, I didn't seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. All right. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. <laughs> all right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Howdy. Let's head over to the saloon. Ooh, the marshal's fucking pissed off today. So who are we looking for? Bunch of two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Now, let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. God damn it, he's on to it. Get after him. Where's my horse? Kitty. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Chola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Sounds like a two-bit gang to me. Hold 
Hold up, Marston. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Whoa. All right. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. All right. Over here, puppy foot. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. Did you just call me? He called me Pussyfoot. Behind the crate, Marston. Smoke him up. Come, liquor. You're about to go meet your maker, and I doubt he's too happy with you. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Take that feller behind the rock, boy. Put a window in your skull, Walton. Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you some space. There's another one behind the outhouse, boy. There you go. They cover behind the outhouse. Careful, there may be more of them. You ain't that tough, Walton. Christ alive. Who's that woman you brought with you, Marshal? That woman. Come on. Oh, got him right in the leg. Oh, you got a good position there, my friend. Why don't you try pointing at somebody before you pull the trigger? Oh, Jesus. Forgot about that. That's Walt inside the house. Let's see if we can take him alive. I need some of that monies. Shit. All right, we got him. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Fantastic. All right, that's going to be it for a Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a blast to the past. I'm really enjoying it. I hope I'll keep playing some more. This game just bring, brings back old memories. And there's so much left to do here, so we'll keep going with that. So thank you so much guys for watching. Leave a comment below what's your favorite memory from Red Dead Redemption, the original. And of course, uh, leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that. And follow me everywhere, me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com for slash me, Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.